ask myself a very important question and that was have I actually ever had a period of time where I was not texting a guy was there ever a period where yeah my phone was dry or where I was going out and I wasn't thinking about looking good for this one particular guy or I was hoping that this one guy is going to commit and the answer was no hi ladies welcome back to another YouTube video my name is Alicia Gogan if you are new here and if you are new don't forget to subscribe because it's a good time over here in my early 20s I used to always be talking to a guy now this guy wouldn't be somebody that would actually be taking me out on dates or actually be my boyfriend it would always just be a guy who I would either get into a situation ship or I would just have a texting buddy I would see him when I would go out with my girls he'd be the guy that would be in my DMs just replying to photos when I looked my best I'd be sending him cute snapchats here and there his presence would be in my life and I would be in his I never really went further than that and once I realized I wasn't gonna get what I really wanted out of the situation ship with this guy I would just go on another dating app or just talk to a new guy follow him on Instagram and we would kind of just chat here and there and the cycle would continue and what I started to realize was having a roster of guys that were never really serious in my life although I wanted something I always wanted something serious and I was always looking for a boyfriend heavily impacted my ability to actually be happy being single actually be happy without a title without an actual boyfriend and just be on my own I had to ask myself a very important question and that was have I actually ever had a period of time where I was not texting a guy where I didn't have my mind just a little bit or a lot on some type of man in my life was there ever a period where yeah my phone was dry or where I was going out and I wasn't thinking about looking good for this one particular guy or I was hoping that this one guy is going to commit have I ever had a period in my life where that wasn't a thing and the answer was no I started to realize I was actually very unhappy with having no man in my life, not talking to anyone. And I wasn't happy when I would go home and not be able to talk to anyone. I was not happy when I would go out with my girls and I didn't have that one guy that I could potentially go home with or drunk text or just have my mind blinged on to him to make me feel something, to give me that little bit of a dopamine kick that I really needed. And I also started to realize that this cycle, this wasn't making me happy. Men who weren't committing to me weren't making me happy. I wasn't happy being alone and I wanted to change that I wanted to be okay with not having a guy to text at nighttime not worrying if he was gonna respond back to my DMs or not if he was going to open my message or look at my photo and comment on something that I was wearing that day like it came to a point where it created a lot of anxiety and a lot of unhappiness I felt like I was completely on an emotional roller coaster depending on the type of attention I was getting from a certain man depending on the day and that's no way to live that's no no way to be able to even have a healthy relationship with yourself when you are so tied up on somebody else and getting your happiness from a guy and the conclusion that I came to was that I didn't know how to be happy single I did not know how to be happy being with myself being alone waiting for the right man and part of me was lying to myself and not really realizing and becoming self-aware with the type of men that I was even bringing into my life and realizing that these men were never gonna be for me anyways and there was a few key realizations that I had to come to before I was even able to take the steps to be actually become happy being single and decentralizing men from my life. The first thing I realized was the roster of guys that I was talking to were all just a manifestation of my low self-worth and my low self-esteem. The men who weren't committing, the men who were toxic, those type of men weren't serving me whatsoever. They weren't healthy for me but I was picking these men because I was in a very low self-worth place. Another thing I had to realize was my low self-worth wasn't going to get any better unless I committed to having a healthier relationship with myself. Another thing that I really, really lacked was patience and the ability to wait for long-term gratification. I was a girl who was so impatient with my goals and wanted everything right now, right at this moment. And that also meant attention from guys. Somebody always in my phone just making me feel happy about life right now, even though the long-term effects of actually having attention from a low-quality man 
actually hurt me. It's important for you to know that being in your single era or taking some time off of just talking to men and decentralizing men from your life doesn't have to last forever, nor should it. I am not an advocate for decentralizing men from your life and you being single for the rest of your life. I am in a relationship right now. I think men provide so much value to us as women in so many ways in our lives. But when you swing one way super heavy and you're so invested in men or in anything, too much of anything is not healthy. Even if you eat salads for the rest of your life, if you only eat salads for the rest of your life, you might think that's really healthy for you, but you might be lacking certain nutrients, certain proteins, certain carbs because you're only eating salads. And that's what I felt that I was really in. So sometimes what we need to do is we need to swing to the opposite way, give ourselves some real good time to heal and learn how to have a healthy relationship with ourselves first. And then we can come back into the middle where there's a balance. There's men, we have space for men, but we also have space for our own lives. The first thing that you need to do is to rebuild your relationship with your own masculine energy. So when we have a disorganized, unhealthy, wounded relationship with masculine men, we usually have that same type of relationship within ourselves with our own masculine energy. Now, we have masculine energy in ourselves as women. I will link a video about masculine energy up here. But when you have a very disorganized life, when you don't have structure in your life or discipline or goals or things that you're working towards, Sometimes what we do as women is we just we are we fall into our feminine energy so much but our wounded feminine energy and we just fall prey almost to our insecurities and our loneliness and we just want a man to save us and we spend all of our time putting our efforts and energy in a man who does not deserve that. And I find when we build our relationship back up with our own masculine energy within ourselves, we have boundaries, we have structure, we're getting things done, we have discipline but also that will help us be able to attract better masculine men in our lives as well. If you're flaking on your goals, if you have no direction in your life, you're also probably going to be attracting men who are on that same caliber as well. And of course, when you have goals and structure and discipline in your life, you are focused on you, your life, instead of just men who are just DMing you here and there, or snapping you and this, that. For me, once I really got into self-development and started really working on my life, I didn't really have a lot of space or time or energy to be entertaining men. So think about some of your financial goals that you wanna to work towards for the rest of the year. Think about your career and what that means to you and what things you have to work on in order to get to that career. Think about the dream life that you have for yourself what your life is going to look like, even outside of having a man, or even with a man, but still, what does that look like? What are even some material things that you're just really excited to get in your life that you can work towards getting? These are all things that will help you keep your attention on your own life. The next thing that I think is so crucial is to declutter. You need to stop entertaining men who you know are not for you. Unfollow if you have to, delete them, block them, stop opening up their Snapchats, stop replying back to their DMs when they respond with an emoji to your photo. This does nothing for you other than keep you tied to a man who is not going to commit to you. If a man wants to pursue you and he likes you and he wants to take you on dates, it will be abundantly clear. So if there's a man right now living in your phone and you're confused, and you don't know if he's really interested in you, you're waiting for him to take you out, I'm telling you right now, the answer is he's not going to. He's going to waste your time, doesn't know what he wants, and he's probably just a manifestation of your current low self-worth. I know it's harsh, but you need to know this because I used to do this all the time. I used to waste so much of my energy and my time entertaining men who were not going to commit to me. Men are simple creatures. If he wanted to, he would. If he wants to, he will. Another thing I think is really important, and I know we've heard this a lot, but it's to have a life. When I was in my 20s, I didn't really have much of a life other than going out to the club with my friends. I didn't spend time with my girlfriends unless we were partying. I didn't spend a lot of my nights in working on my goals or my passions or exploring what my passions are, going to dance classes or art classes, doing things with people who were close to me outside of men. I found the reason why I had so much time to entertain a lot of men is because I wasn't spending a lot of time doing 
doing things for myself. Now, having an unhealthy relationship with masculine energy, entertaining men because you are lonely and you have low self-worth, and not knowing how to give yourself the time you deserve to be spent on pursuing your own passions, your own goals, and overall attracting toxic men is because there's something deeper going on with you. And if you want to get to the root cause as to why you attract toxic men, continuously entertain them, you need to go watch my video, which is linked on the screen right now, so you can find out what to do about this. I hope you ladies enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. I post every single week on self-improvement, women's wellness, dating advice, soft life, feminine energy, all that good stuff. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.